way, nigga. Turn my way, nigga. Fuck it all my way, nigga. These niggas, nigga. Step on niggas. Ooh. I'm your first time getting a car. Another nigga bought it. My first time with a car. What it do YouTube, it's your boy Willow Stacks, man, and today I'm going to show y'all how I got five exotic cars at the age of only 17. Alright, so first of all, we got my baby, my daily here, the green machine, the Hulk, whatever y'all want to call it, the Grinch, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to basically show y'all my GT. This is my daily, drive it all the time. One of my favorites, I mean, I can't really pick one because, you know, there's a lot of them, but, you know what I'm saying, this is definitely one of my favorites. So basically, this is a special edition. This is the color it comes with. Y'all may think it's a wrap. It is not a wrap. It has this beautiful yellow stitching, um, these beautiful seats, um, the two big screens, as you can see on the AMG. This car was brand new, uh, no miles on it, everything, you know what I'm saying, from the rims, the carbon ceramic brakes, um, the big rear wing, you know what I'm saying. If y'all want more videos on this, let me know. But I should be doing some things to this car too, uh, the exhaust and all of that. But yeah, this is the GT. This is definitely, without a doubt, one of my favorites. I drive it all the time. Um, it got the V8, you know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with it. Pops, all the bangs, all of that. And it comes like that stock. But yeah, this is a beautiful car. Definitely one of my favorites. All right, so we're going to start it up for y'all so y'all can hear it. As y'all can see, even though it has a rev, a rev limiter at 4,000 RPM, you can still hear the pops and bangs. And definitely when you're in drive, you can hear them a lot more and it sounds better. But that's like a little sample for y'all. And now we're moving on to the next car, the big body Rolls truck, man. All right, so basically, you can't go wrong with the Rolls truck, the most like high sought after SUV in the world. Elegance, luxury, it don't get better than that. Y'all see the spirit of ecstasy. You know, the grill look like a, a bird cage kind of. I don't even know how to explain it. Basically, it just don't get better than the Rolls truck. This is the best of the best, the, the best SUV. As y'all can see, you might have to go through a little trail right here to get through. But um, I'm going to open it for y'all. If y'all don't know about the Rolls truck, the, um, the color of the interior is on the key. So as y'all could already see, we got the red guts. I'm going to open it up for y'all. It's a little dirty, so I apologize for that in advance. I need to get a detail. But this is basically the Rolls truck. As you can see, the stars should be on the stars. On the, yeah, you can't really see them right now because it's daytime, but you got the stars on the roof, the red interior. A beautiful car. You can't go wrong the way the doors open up. Got the suicide doors. You know what I'm saying? Just different. You can't go wrong. Got the TVs on there with the, if you want to eat, you, know, you got the tray too. You know what I'm saying? Can't go wrong with the TVs. You gotta have the TVs. And if y'all don't know, y'all know now the doors close themselves. So do the um the TV. The doors close themselves. So as y'all can see right here. Hold up, we wanna act up for the camera, but you know what I'm saying. Doors close themselves. You got the umbrella just in case it starts raining. It looks like it's about to start raining right here. If it do, hold up, y'all boys bear with me. It ain't going to start raining because I ain't going to open it. But y'all know we got the umbrella right here. And then basically we finna just come back to the front. Y'all got the Rolls Royce. It ain't really, you know what I'm saying, it's a simple car. If you know, you know. Because obviously just from looking at it, it may not. Of course, if you know it's a Rolls Royce, you know it's something like out of this world. But if you don't, it really just looks like a normal car. Um, but that's basically it for the Rolls Royce. Now we come to the G-Wagon. As y'all know, the G-Wagon is a different type of vehicle. It's an off-road vehicle, kind of like it stems from a, a military, you know what I'm saying, type of vehicle. This the we not this not no 550 now. We you know we got if it ain't the 63, it ain't me. You know what I'm saying. So we starting off right here. And if y'all don't know about the um the G wagons, the way the doors sound when they open and close, it's all like a military vehicle, um, and it's just different. So we got the carbon fiber on the steering wheel. AMG everything, but if y'all don't know about the 63, we got the exhaust on the side right here. Y'all don't really see that often in any car, 
because it's just different. The G-Wagon, everything about it is just different. So we're going to start it up for y'all, too. We're going to gonna see right here. As y'all can see, some pops and bangs for y'all. You know AMG gonna do it every time when it comes to the pops and bangs and all that. And you can really hear it. Hold up, and you gotta slam these doors. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta slam those doors. And when y'all hear it close, you get the keys for y'all. When y'all hear it close, it sounds like a, like a military vehicle. And, but yeah, basically that's the G-Wagon. Then again, you can't really go wrong with it. It's an off-road vehicle. It's a different type of vehicle. Compared to every vehicle, you can't really compare it to nothing because it's it's in its own lane it's a one of one type of vehicle right here man we got the x6m now y'all might like y'all may think that maybe just because it's a bmw and it may not be as expensive as all the other cars that it's it's not one of my most used the bmw x6m is the perfect daily it's like the perfect balance of everything luxury it's sporty it got everything you could think of so basically we got the x6m right here it is dirty so y'all bear with me on that but we need to get this car detailed. But yeah, basically, the X6M, it got like six, 7,000 miles on it, but we got it brand new. The X6M is brand new. It got the um, everything you could think of from the speakers to the carbon fiber to the red interior. You can't go wrong with the X6M. Um, it's just, you got the rims, everything. This car, I spec'd it out myself. I ordered it. This car is just different. As you can see, the back, the back's a little dirty too. It definitely need to be clean. It's raining today. So not today, but it definitely gonna be detailed soon. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really much to it. Just a perfect tw uh, twin turbo V8 SUV, quick, um, gets everything done. And now we gonna do a sound check for y'all too of the X6M, so y'all can hear it. As y'all can see with the BMW, you don't really get the pots and bangs because we don't got a modified exhaust or nothing on that. If y'all if y'all want a modified exhaust or something like that on the X6M, y'all make sure to comment that and let me know. We will be modifying and we will keep doing car content if y'all want it. So just let me know so we can stay tuned on that. For the car y'all probably been waiting for the most, we'll leave the McLaren for last. We got the 720 here. Everything carbon fiber, every option you could think of from the from the from the top to the bottom we got the hood we got the the lights right here the middle of the lights got carbon fiber the bottom has carbon fiber the mirror caps the roof scoop everything has just just everything has it i'm gonna open the door for you guys everything is carbon fiber the roof scoop right here um we got the the steering wheel the top of it the paddles the the screen right here if y'all don't know it turns into Oh no, that's the, the screen turns into, it's like a video game. The screen turns into like, like a racing screen. You like, you can only see your RPMs and your miles. And then even the air vents have carbon fiber. Um, a little red interior, ain't really much to it. If y'all don't know with these supercars, the interiors are just, it's just pretty plain and calm. We're gonna leave the doors open for y'all. Um, we got the, this is aftermarket too. Everything is carbon fiber, even this hood scoop. Uh, not hood scoop, this is like a, like an engine cover. If y'all don't know, the engine is back here and it's under the, the engine cover. Um, basically, we got the exhaust too. Y'all don't know the two exhausts are at the top, they're not at the bottom, so it's not regular. Um, as we could come around, let y'all see, we got these custom HRE uh, rims with the 720S on it. Um, those are aftermarket too. A lot of this car comes with aftermarket parts and we got carbon fiber up here too from the top to the bottom even on the inside if y'all don't know like behind the netting there's still there's more carbon fiber the the um what's this called the back of the like the under of the bumper everything is just carbon fiber i'm gonna start it up for you guys too um so y'all can hear this because i know y'all definitely want to hear the mclaren
as y'all can see, a little sound check for y'all. To be brutally honest, I didn't even know it was that loud. That is crazy. I didn't even know it did the pops and bangs like that. I never really did the revs like that, but that's crazy to even myself. So, yeah, basically, you know, we had to give y'all the McLaren. And we got everything is carbon, even, like, for lightweight um, measures. You know, McLaren always tries to make everything lightweight. We got carbon everywhere, um, even on the door. But, yeah, as y'all can see, you can't go wrong with the McLaren. It's definitely, I never... I can't get the same sensation in this car as I get in any of the other ones because it's its own, it's rear wheel drive. Every other car is all wheel drive. Um, and just the car in it of itself, you, it's, it's a supercar. So you know you can't get this feeling anywhere else. But yeah, that's the McLaren. Um, let me close the trunk because I actually done open the trunk. Um, but yeah, this has been a tour of all my cars, starting from the GT to the Rolls, to the G-Wagon, to the XXM, to the McLaren. If y'all could have any of them, y'all let me know in the comments which one y'all would have. Um, if it was up to me, to be honest, I wouldn't even be able to choose right now. Like, I don't know which one because they all bring a different flavor, a different mix to the cars. That's why you need to have, you know what I'm saying, you need to get your, you know, get your grind up. Fuck! Run that back. So as y'all can see, that's been it. I gave y'all a tour of all the cars. We got the McLaren right here. We got the X6M right here. Um, we got the G-Wagon right there, as y'all can see. We got the Rolls truck, of course. And coming back to the first at the beginning, we got the GT63. So let me know in the comments which one you would have, if you could have any of these. Me, personally, I wouldn't be able to choose because every car brings something different to the table. But let me know in the comments which one you guys would want to see next to. More videos coming soon on these cars if y'all want to keep seeing them. Um, but yeah, just let me know, interact with me. I will be replying to the comments and letting you guys know for future content what you guys want to see. But I hope you guys like this video. It's been Walito Stacks, and we out. Peace.